Uh, hello, uh, hello again, and this is another Abacus tutorial. In the previous uh, air explosive or air blast loading, we have conducted uh, this model to simulate the air blast uh, impact. So, but we couldn't consider any sort of concrete failure uh, during the explosive that should fail down. So now we want to uh, use that uh, scenario, which is much much more practical. And I'm going to copy this model. I can write it model 2. Uh, everything is the same, but except the material, we want to change it. Uh, we go to the CTP material. This is CTP material. So this time we, we just consider the concrete tension behavior, but it will be as, as a brittle cracking material. So I'm going to delete this. I have uh, that some material in my lab, and I'm going to bring it here. Concrete CDP uh, brittle lab, and CDP in its concrete brittle M, which the unit is using M, so that the pressure or uh, stress will be Pascal. Now we can see here it's called brittle brittle cracking. So you can come here, select brittle cracking, and you give the tension behavior of the concrete with the same inelastic or cracking strain and then come to the brittle shear in a sub option open you can give in a retention factor time one should be zero and the zero this should be equal to this uh, strain and the second is brittle failure you can consider the brittle failure is equal the length of the element so my length of the element is 0 0.5 or 5 centimeters so then times this if i go back to 0. 5 times to this uh, cracking strain 0.01298 and 182. So and I'm going to OK and I'm going to see it so you can see this number the same way we previously saw. Now this is OK, the same density and elastic modulus and OK and the still didn't change. Now uh, we go to the next, the properties is uh, should define. Uh, instead of the solid uh, CDP, I should define my new CDP material here. CDP in this CDP is brittle material. So we define the same and we go to the uh, assembly. So this is the, the model which we already created and this is the reference point and this is the point uh, center of the column slab which we will measure the displacement or deformation and this is the source of the explosive and, and next we will go to the step and here everything is set as is as the previous we defined in that tutorial in the interaction also seated here the contact between uh, uh, source and surface and uh, uh, in the type of uh, blasting is air blast and uh, amounts of TNT is 1 kg. We conduct an embedded between reinforcement concrete, concrete slabs and this is it. So we go to the loading and we create the boundary condition in the edge of the slab and also the mesh size is which we define 0.9 five or five centimeters and we can go to that uh, we, we can go to the mesh one more thing to let me activate this is slab and I'm going to select them and here I want to activate the element relation I can go to element relation and say yes now do the job and I want to call uh, uh, blast Wait. Failure. So when I submitted the job, uh, now it's running, and we want to check the monitor if there is any error. Okay, there is no error, so it will take some time to finish, and we should wait. And first step, second. 
uh, now the analysis uh, completed it took 0.5 second to finish and we can go to see the results and this is the result and during the blast and impact of the uh, explosive so uh, those damaged material is removed uh, so I can go to uh, use the canopy and also we can use uh, so in brittle material we don't have the damage uh, compressive damage tension damage but we can see the displacement so let's go to or I can go uh, just go to stress strain is also okay now uh, let me show one of them uh, let me This slab is here, and I'm going to do a, the, the damage. You can see how it's showing the deformation and also the element deletion. So in this process, it's tight here because there is steel, the steel is not uh, very strong and it's not removed or not filled down, so that will uh, react. So in the fourth. Now what we're going to see here, the only thing that can measure the displacement in this area. So we're going to create here and special displacement and plot it. So this is the displacement. My previous displacement was different, so it was like vibrating. So now it's going to first to minus one or uh, about uh, 10 millimeter and then going to back again and reducing like this. Uh, now uh, we can uh, observe some other uh, displacement or just go to back here at all and let me show you the steel reverse impact so here is a loss of uh, damage in the because the center of this area is totally damaged and here if I go to back here and turn on the, the view rendering and here you can see again. Yes. Um, so we need eight, and it's going to pack because showing reaction. So I have uh, uh, scale it is 200. In case if it's uh, one, you can see this is not too much. So that means the concrete uh, slab or uh, any reinforcement concrete is very sustained and also resistance again is blasting and now we can go to check some other parameters let's go to other sort of stream we're not using the this is for the uh, task element so we can go to back here uh, displacement this is the displacement A lot of the formation is in the up in the center of the slab. Here, and we also can go to see the canopy. It's not available for the acceleration, or also mostly in the center of the slab. We can go to back to see all, and here is. So like this, you can uh, simulate any uh, element in structure. Uh, you also can uh, play with the meshing. The meshing has effect. So, so this is it. And this is the bottom and this is the top. So the concrete will fill down like this. And now, if you have any question, please put in the comment and I will find time to answer you. See you next time.